Fire! Welcome! So this is number one of my new records roundup series. Now it's not going to be an awful lot different to the music collecting content that I've been making on this channel for the last, what, three, nearly four years. I just thought I'd change things up a little bit, make some cosmetic tweaks more than anything, and just try and make my record collecting videos, my music related videos, a bit more sort of uniform and for them to have a bit more continuity. I've got four releases to show you today. Going forward, I'm intending to do any sort of music collecting videos, or the vast majority of them. There'll be certain exceptions in this kind of format. I'd like to know your opinion, so if you want to let me know in the comments, if you preferred it the old way or if you like this way with the extra info then let me know I'm also intending to use a few more music clips maybe not across the board for every single release that I pick up but um, certainly in this video I'm hoping there'll be a few I say hoping because a video I've shot a music video which is not part of this series but it's something different that I'm scheduling for later on this month there was only two pieces of music that I wanted to use in that and one of those got worldwide blocked so uh, it's a bit of a lottery really as to whether I can actually use music but um, we'll see how we go you'll probably notice if there is any cuts anyway so that's the housekeeping out of the way let's get on to the records roundup oh just one more thing um, although the series, these music collecting videos now are all under the Records Roundup banner, it won't just be actual vinyl records that'll be shown. I just wanted a fairly snappy and memorable title. There will be other formats shown. In fact, there's a non-vinyl format to show you in this video, and we'll do that as a mail opening towards the end. So stick around for it. Right then, I think that is all the housekeeping done. Let's get on with a purchase from Bandcamp. Limited to 100 copies this, and then it had another pressing soon after. I think they brought that pressing forward. They were going to stagger them, like do one batch of 100, and then another batch of 100 that looked slightly different a bit later on. But because the initial drop of 100 pressings sold out really quick, and I was one who got one of those initial 100, and um, they did bring forward the second release. I'm talking about The City Part 1 by Lost Outrider. This is a Time Slaves Recordings reissue. It was originally on a different synthwave label in 2018, I think. You'll have seen some Lost Outrider on this channel not too long ago. His most recent studio album, Blush, I picked that up off Amazon earlier this year. Phenomenal album. It's synthwave, as you might have guessed, given it's been released on Time Slave. There is a City Part 2 that I'm assuming will get a release at some point. I hope it will anyway, if only for the sake of continuity, really. But there we are. A look at the front and the back. This is a brand new release, but um, when Time Slave sends stuff, they don't tend to be actually sealed in cellophane, but they always send out in a protective outer, which is nice and always a good quality one as well. So plain inner sleeve and check out this disc here. It is orange with black splatter or spatter. Now as I say, there's only 100 of these in the world. Because these sold out so quick, and I feel quite fortunate that I was able to get this, although the second pressing I would have been happy with. Because these sold out so quick, Time Slaves brought forward the pressing of this album on red with black spatter. I'm assuming those have sold out pretty quickly because I think there's only 100 of those. Look at that, that is lovely, that. Coloured and patterned discs. I always talk about them, but fantastic. And I'm really excited to listen to this album as well. I've heard one or two tracks off it, because as I tend to do when I buy something on Bandcamp, I'll stream a little bit of it, just to make sure that I definitely want to buy it. But it's Lost Outrider, one of the most prominent synthwave artists in the UK. Of course I'm going to want to buy it. Really nice artwork here. I think he's into like all this Japanese manga and anime, which... For me personally, I'm not bothered about any of that really, but it does make for some nice aesthetics, doesn't it? Very excited to have this Lost Outrider City Part 1 on orange and black spatter vinyl. Hopefully we'll see the City Part 2, which I think was also released originally 2018, finally get a vinyl release at some point, presumably under license to Time Slave Recordings. And all the shit that happened to us
We move on. We stay in the electronic music genre, but we move on to some Discogs purchases now. One here that is the first 12 inch single I've bought for a while. And this is one I'd been looking out for it. And there was just one seller on Discogs from Germany who had this. And it was a reasonable price, but the trouble is, he was asking something like eight pound for the record but then postage from Germany to the UK, he wanted something daft like 24 pound. And I thought, well, if he has anything else in his Discogs listings that I want, I'll maybe order some more stuff and then get combined postage. We didn't really have anything. But then I kept checking back every so often, see if this had come up from any other seller. And a UK seller had it. Um, can't remember the price of it. It is the 12 inch single from 2010, I believe. True Ruin Light Body by one of my favourite artists, Picture Plane. This is one of the very few Picture Plane vinyl releases that I needed for the collection. I think the only thing left now is an earlier 7-inch single that, I don't know, it's just probably so limited. There's probably less than 50 copies in the world. The details on the Discogs database are a little bit minimal, as they were for this, really. For instance, I didn't even know this was actually on non-black vinyl because it didn't say on its Discogs entry. I've got this very nice sort of magic eye, what do you call it, magic eye kind of design for the sleeve. The single's called True Ruin Light Body. Track one on side A is True Ruin. I don't know if Light Body is what they added to the title when it became a single, but interestingly, this track in, I don't know if it's the same form, it could be a slightly different version, a remix version or extended or whatever on the 12 inch, but this track was on the CD and download version of his debut album, Dark Rift. I had the CD of that, but then I upgraded it to the vinyl. I say upgrade, the vinyl actually has less tracks on than the CD. So it's quite nice to get this back now because this wasn't on the vinyl version that I've got now. Finally managed to lay my hands on this. It's come with a black inner and it's quite heavy duty as well sort of um i would say that's pretty clean white vinyl i was thinking when i was looking at it from this side it was more of a sort of slightly beige look but i think that's just because how the light's coming across in certain positions a picture plane single from what oh that'd be 12 years ago as i say it's a 12 inch single four tracks the other tracks besides true ruin on side a another one on side a is cyclical cyclical which is also on the dark rift album side b fifth son which i think's on that album too and then probably the only track or maybe one of two tracks that is actually exclusive to this release is new mind teen girl fantasy wide open edit so uh, we have got a remix of something on here as well but i'm a collector certainly a picture plane collector i absolutely love picture plane and i'll sing his praises always truer in light body finally got it for a pretty good price i can't remember what the price was but it was under 20 pound including postage edition of 500 i think this is by the way according to discogs <laughs> penultimate release to show you today the penultimate album is one that actually was delivered today it was delivered from the netherlands via dpd i decided to open this before i started filming and it's for an artist who you will have seen i've been collecting and trying to build up my collection in recently also from discogs this is andrew wk's studio album you're not alone nice big hype sticker there as well it's got his bloody nose logo there that caused some controversy back in the day this was from 2018 and it says the new full-length studio album and it's on 180 gram green and blue vinyl now i believe that means one disc is green one is blue rather than both of them half green half blue which would look cool, admittedly. It's a gatefold sleeve and it comes with complete lyrics. 
really happy that I finally got this. Importing it from Holland, it was a little bit more expensive than maybe I would have liked because of customs and that, but it was still a pretty good price. And I don't think much more than 30, maybe pushing 35. And with it being brand new and sealed as well, that was a bonus. I will get this open actually, because I'm curious about these discs. I'll try and get it open anyway. With it being a gatefold sleeve, I don't know if I can open it particularly successfully just with these tweezers, but uh, I think we've done it there. Unless all this cellophane just falls off. So there's one of the inners there, and yes, it does look to have all of the lyrics on the back of it. Ah, yeah, as I thought it would be. It's a full blue disc, nice bold blue there. More of a coincidence than anything else that all the records I've shown today have been non-standard or non-black vinyl. It's just how things have fallen really for me with my purchasing and um, video scheduling and stuff. So this is the second dinner for the second disc. Got some credits on the back there. But yeah, that's uh, quite a dark green, very nice that quite used to seeing a few neon green discs and lighter sort of lime green type ones but that's quite a sort of darker I don't know there's probably another word for that type of green I can't think of it it's just classed here as green vinyl so that's good enough for me Andrew WK is a really unique artist you know his songs are full of obviously kind of almost sort of dunderheaded optimism really and a lot of people think you know that makes him a bit of a joke artist and maybe he's like sort of a parody of kind of a frat boy type of motivational speaker but I don't know I just like his music and while his lyrics may not be the most intelligent in the world you know, banging on about party in every other track. He has released some really strong songs and some really good albums. Now in my Andrew WK collection, I've got his debut album, I Get Wet, and his second album, The Wolf, and now I've got his last two studio albums, You're Not Alone and God Is Partying. So there's a couple that are pretty difficult to find, at least a couple actually, in the middle of his discography that I do want, but they might be a bit more difficult to get hold of. But Andrew WK, You're Not Alone, on Green and Blue. I love it. And finally, we do have a mail opening here to do today because this has just come literally minutes before I started filming. This has also come from the Netherlands, funnily enough. Not the same seller as who I bought Andrew WK from, just a different one who happened to be based on Discogs in, in the Netherlands. Looking at the packaging, be forgiven for thinking there might be a seven inch single in here. There's not. Let's get it open and you'll see what it is. This may be my most expensive purchase of the day today. I think this was a bit over 35 with the usual international postage and taxes and it's in a format that I love. Oh, it's really nicely packaged this. I'm showing you what it is before I've really talked about it, but look at that. Look how safely it's cut out another bit of cardboard and stuck it with some parcel tape so it doesn't move around. Really, really impressive packaging from this seller. It's coming like some cellophane, but due to the age of this, it won't be the original cellophane. Just like a bit of protective plastic, really. This looks in really nice condition, actually, for its age. A lot of these that I have, the cases are just absolutely battered before they've even arrived. But this album is on mini disc, and it's Love See No Colour by The Farm. I'd seen this on and off, mostly on Discogs, but very occasionally on eBay, and just thought, well, I would like that. The price was always maybe a little bit too high for me to really want to bother getting it but I was just browsing Discogs one day and I just thought you know I fancy getting a mini disc for a band that I like rather than what I've done in the past and buy mini discs for cheap or cheapish of artists that I maybe wouldn't normally collect. I do like The Farm, I've liked them since the early 90s when their debut album Spartacus came out. 
and it had the brilliant All Together Now on it and also the very good Groovy Train single. This album, their second album, has got another one of my very favourite farm tracks on it, the lead single, Mind. Absolutely brilliant song, that. Oh, look at that. A case that's not broken off or cracked or anything. Very important to me that it comes with the original booklet inside. As you can see, this is a proper 1990s Sony press implant mini disc. Excellent. This may inspire me to get more farm albums into the collection. I think they've only ever actually released three studio albums, even though they've been going in some form since the early 1980s. And it was the early 90s they actually started hitting the charts. I think the last time I remember them being in the charts was, I think, around 2004, when they re-released All Together Now with a boys' choir to um, coincide with the European Football Championships that year. But really excited to listen to this. Another track on here that was released as a single was one I didn't really like it when I first heard their version. It's the farm's cover of Don't You Want Me by The Human League. But I saw it again quite recently, actually. I saw it on an old edition of Top of the Pops. And um, I enjoyed it the last time, even though I thought it was a bit of a ropey cover when I initially heard it years ago. So yeah, that is probably the best condition original release mini disc I've got in quite some time. That Although I don't buy a lot of mini discs anymore, as you know. Till I saw you just the other So there we are, that's all my pickups to show you today. Hope you've enjoyed part one of Records Roundup, well Records plus a mini disc. As I say, that's just a title. I will be showing other pickups that I make that aren't vinyl, be them CDs, mini discs, cassettes, whatever else. Do I collect any other format? Maybe you like even you know DVDs and Blu-rays that are music related as well. I do show those on the channel. Like I say, let me know in the comments if you like the kind of slightly new look. I mean, it's still basically me just showing what I've got and uh, hoping that you will take an interest in it. But thank you for watching and special thanks go as always to my wonderful subscribers and generous patrons. Please see my Patreon link, Facebook group link and a link for content insurance down in the description text box. I'm gonna go now, got a lot of stuff to listen to here, not listen to any of it, I mean a couple of these only came today so I would have not had the time to listen to those before filming. Always got a nice backlog of music, hopefully, not hopefully, certainly you'll be seeing part two, number two of Records Roundup at some point fairly soon when I've built up a fair amount of pickups as I'm always waiting for stuff, I've got stuff on pre-order stuff on the way etc etc join me next time why don't you for records roundup and please join me generally for all of my upcoming music collecting videos cheers everyone see ya